What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Polo Ralph Lauren Polo Filtration Mask I picked up at RalphLauren.com for $30 a piece. These filtration masks don't get any stars or any customer reviews, but they do come in two different colorways, both of which we have in front of us here today, black and Newport Navy. These face masks do range between sizes, small, medium, and large. Today, we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions, as well as a try on, so you can get a good idea of what comes in the packaging, what exactly these face masks look like, such as their quality, and we're basically going to go over everything you need to know before you order these. There are some really cool and interesting features about the face masks themselves. They will let you know when it's time to replace the filter, so we'll take a look at that, and I'll pretty much give you a good idea as to how that works. Yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions and see what these face masks are all about. So here in front of us today, we have the Polo Filtration Mask. It will come in a box by USPS. As you can see, I actually did already open it. Uh, there are pretty much no way of telling this is from Polo Ralph Lauren. Uh, there is no branding on the box whatsoever. So as you can see, I did open the box already because I was actually expecting there to be a smaller box on the inside. But as you can see, you pretty much get a nice little letter here from Ralph Lauren. And then you get some uh, parchment paper on the top with a Ralph Lauren sticker. Uh, we just pretty much lift off the top here and we can pretty much see that our face masks are included on the inside. So they do come with a drawstring bag where you can pretty much pack them away and uh, maybe put them in a suitcase or put them in a purse, for example. So that's really nice that you can actually keep these protected and not in your pocket or uh, on your desk, for example, where they actually might become contaminated. You can see this is sort of like a thick cotton material. This is definitely washable. One thing I want to point out is this is not washable with the face mask filter inserted inside. Notice that there's actually a pocket behind this cotton sleeve here. This 100% polyester on the outside is nicely stitched down the middle. If you're in the car and you're wearing the face mask, but you're also maybe drinking a soda pop or a smoothie or maybe a coffee at the same time, uh, the fact that these come in black and Newport Navy should be pretty you know, resistant against stains color-wise. And this drawstring here is actually sort of the same thickness and material as a shoelace on a sneaker, for example, this is actually going to stay pretty well put together. Pinch down to adjust, which is really nice, and it slides seamlessly across the drawstring here. Uh, it's not going to snap and break. It's actually a really nice, sturdy, durable material here, as you can see. This side, you're gonna be doing all the adjusting, which uh, is great because it's actually built out of a more durable construction. And then this side, you're pretty much just going to want to make sure it's fastened to your ear. This is going to be the more supportive side, right? Now, I know all of us know how to wear masks, but what's fascinating is it actually describes, uh, using these little pictures, how exactly to use it. And I'm going to explain it here. So you obviously put the straps around your ear, right, and secure it to your head. But what's most important that no one ever really talks about is how you want to pinch the face mask to your nose. So there's like a plastic piece in the bridge of the nose of the face mask itself that you actually pinch down onto your nose so that no particles or bacteria are coming in through the top of the face mask and making their way into your nose or into your mouth. And then last but not least, what's also extremely important when wearing a face mask and making sure that it's on your head okay is that you actually breathe through the front of the face mask to ensure that it's a tight enough fit. If you breathe through it and you feel that the face mask is too loose, then you'll want to adjust it. Or if maybe you breathe and you're finding that it's restricting your airflow just a little bit too much, then you can loosen it up just a bit. But this is a great technique at finding out just exactly how well the face mask fits. Uh, what I read on Ralph Lauren's website was these are good for four hours of continuous use. So if you are working at retail or 
in a store, for example, uh, or in an office where you have to use your face mask all day long, you'll definitely want to maybe consider getting another face mask and maybe just using these for when you go out to dinner or go out on the town, for example, with your significant other. Because like I said, if you're going to use them for four hours at a time, like at work, you're going to use all of these filters probably within the same week, I would imagine. Uh, they are $10 for an additional pack of five on Ralph Lauren's website, but uh, what's really nice is you do get a card here pretty much showing you just exactly uh, how the filters let you know that they are ready to be replaced. What it does do is it pretty much just uh, picks up the particles that you breathe in and out, inhale and exhale, and then uh, they cause some sort of chemical reaction on this little indicator here that turns red when it's pretty much fully contaminated. So pretty cool technology. Uh, one thing I haven't seen so far is actually how to install the filters themselves. Uh, one thing I want to point out that's on Ralph Lauren's website is these are not to be used uh, in medical facilities. They are not FDA approved. Really nice to see that out of two face masks that I ordered, both are actually in perfect condition. Uh, there are no returns, obviously, right? So let's go ahead and get these filters in. We'll show you how to do that, and then we'll try them on and see just how they look. Okay, so what's actually really nice and what actually makes these intuitive to install and set up is the fact that there are some indicators on the inside of the mask itself. This material is actually kind of durable. It's definitely stronger than paper. It's probably some kind of cotton mix uh, with a little bit of paper, but uh, it is a nice filtered material. It should allow you to get a good flow of air through while also filtering out harmful particles. So what's really nice is as you'll see here, you do get a, an arrow facing upward. Uh, that means you'll want the mask facing upward. So as you can see here, we've got the Polo logo facing upwards. That means the mask is upright. So we'll go ahead and lay it down. Uh, that way you can pretty much install it. Now what I like is that the uh, mouth of the filter itself, the crease is facing outwards and the mask actually folds inwards. So again, what's really nice is they already do that for us, making it really easy and intuitive to figure out and understand. Also, what I think you'll want also is for this meter here to be facing towards you so that when you take the face mask off or put the face mask on, the first thing that you should have access to is that meter to see just exactly uh, when you need to replace this filter. So let's go ahead and get this installed and we'll just see how exactly how this works. Okay, so I think I've pretty much finally got it in behind the mouth here. Uh, this is much more frustrating and complicated than uh, it should be than I was expecting. On Ralph Lauren's website, uh, they do make it look as easy as just slipping it in and pulling it out, but it's really not that easy. Uh, for someone who is concerned about, you know, making sure that the filter is working 100% after you've installed it. Uh, my biggest worry here is that it's actually crumpled up in the mouthpiece here. Uh, you can definitely feel some little underlying undulations here that it's not flush. Uh, also, I think what you'll kind of be upset about here is you'll actually notice that one end of the face mask is actually where it should be at the end here in this little pocket. But then if we look at the other end of the face mask here, uh, you can see that the filter is actually sort of receding back into the center of the face mask here. So uh, just getting them uh, perfectly flush behind the mouthpiece here is just a little bit frustrating. As you can see here, I did pull the face mask over to get the flap behind this pocket here on the left side of the mask. But then as you can see on the right side here, uh, that flap did retreat back into the center. So, you know, this is just extremely frustrating. If you're going to take this out with you on the town and maybe you wanna take a couple of these replacement filters, put them in the drawstring bag so that if this one gets dirty while you're out, you can replace it. You're going to be sitting there uh, fiddling around with this uh, with, you know, dirty hands potentially. So yeah, definitely have a clean filter inserted in the mask before you go out because changing these filters on the fly is just, it's not possible. It's not 
it's not easy. It's not something you're going to have time or want to do if you're out of the house and running errands and, and are busy. The filter does fit underneath this cotton piece of fabric here and then does tuck into the side. So uh, you definitely won't uh, have that sort of uh, same experience you would have with a disposable face mask, for example, like uh, when the disposable face masks start wearing out a little bit, you sort of get some of those fibers in the mask itself uh, making their way into your mouth, for example, or in your nose and maybe tickling you a little bit or just sort of getting in the way and just being sort of nasty, right? Okay, so as you can see, I've got the face mask on here. This is a large size, and on Ralph Lauren's website, it does say that these tend to run a little bit small, but uh, with that being said, right off the bat, this face mask is extremely secure. Uh, I really like the fit of it. It actually covers the front of the face, as you would expect, and you can pinch that nose so that no air or contaminants are getting in through the top of the face mask. It also sits very nicely flush and seam line with the chin itself. Uh, I really do appreciate this drawstring mechanism at the back here that allows you to fasten it to your head securely. And these elastic straps along the side are actually extremely comfortable. That's one thing about the disposable face masks is after wearing them for a few hours or maybe a day or two, they actually sort of start to uh, dig into your ear and they become raw fitting and feeling and they actually start to hurt. I was actually just complaining about installing the filters and uh, them not laying completely flush inside the face mask uh, and them not completely doing their job, which I am still uh, standing behind that claim, by the way. Uh, I do wish they would have approached the whole uh, filter thing just a little bit differently and a little bit better because uh, right now, I think they're just trying to get you to wear them and uh, buy the replacement filters and make money off this. But uh, with that being said, uh, what I've noticed is uh, they are comfortable. I don't feel any of those uh, underlying undulations of the filter just not being perfectly flush. And last but not least, I just want to demonstrate what the black face mask looks like compared to the Newport Navy. One thing I want to point out is this does not have the filter installed. Uh, what's really nice is if you do forget to install a filter or run out of filters, if you do the blow on your hand test, this still does a phenomenal job of making sure that no harmful particles are passing through the mask itself. I think you could probably hear me less with the filter installed. And, and that just means that it's doing a better job of filtering out the air. So, they do come in two different colors, Newport Navy and Black, which I did show you here today. They do come with five replacement filters included in the packaging, but if you do want to order additional filters, they are $10 for a pack of five on ralphlauren.com. Uh, the filters do only last up to about four hours of continuous use, but they do have a meter, which is really nice, that lets you know when they're ready to be thrown away. Uh, they do sort of bunch up in the face masks themselves. With that being said, because I did pick them up at ralphlauren.com, that does make them a convenience good. They are brand new. They just released them a week and a half ago. I got them just a couple of days ago. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. I thank you so much for tuning in. Check out our merchandise store. There's some really awesome and inspiring stuff on there. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that like, subscribe. Once again, my name is John. I will see you in the next one.